Hey, Ty Collin here. If you don't know me, I'm the author of this book here, Kindle Publishing Secrets that you'll find in the corner over here. Um, I've also started multiple seven and eight figure businesses. I've helped people from across the planet, um, literally thousands of people across the planet, start successful businesses. And one of the things that I see oftentimes when people fail at businesses, there's usually one thing, right? There's usually a, a ton of other things, but there's usually one major thing that kind of ruins it for them from the very beginning. And that one thing, if you get to a point where you don't have this in place, then it's going to be really hard for you to have long lasting success. I've been in business for, man, I started my first business when I was 19 and got that business to a point where I was making $30,000 a month um, selling toys and old GI Joes with the Kung Fu grip and comic books and, and, uh, um, Barbie dolls and just a variety of things, right? So wind up toys, um, some of the old Migos, collectibles, action figures. And there's things that I looked at from that business to I've had a record company um, that was pretty successful. And then after that, I went in and I started multiple publishing companies and then other businesses as well. But there's always been this one common denominator, this one factor in the businesses that did well versus the businesses that didn't do well. And I've had, you know, a business here or two that didn't do really well, right? People will never really share that. I've had businesses that really crashed and burned. And when I look back and I say, well, what was missing from those businesses that did not do well, that the businesses that made seven figures or eight figures had it in place? And it's usually my reason for wanting to start the business, and I'll take it even deeper than that. It's the reason for wanting to sell the product or the service, right? Like, what's your reason? So normally when I go in and I'll assess someone's business, I'll do a consultation and I'll look at what's going on with their business or their product or their service. Um, and it could be something as simple as a Kindle book, right? We'll, we'll start small with that. Um, or their entire their portfolio of Kindle books. I'll see that normally it's missing the why. It's missing the reason why they're publishing these books, the reason why they've started this business, or the reason why they're providing this particular service. And even looking at my own history, the businesses that I started, right, that were more of an altruistic type of uh, approach, that, that came from that type of approach, did amazingly well versus the businesses where it was just about me. And the reason why is because when it's just about you, there's going to be times when things don't go well. There's going to be times when you need extra motivation. There's going to be times when you're a little bit more um, or less energetic, I should say, when you need a little bit more sleep, when you don't have a desire to drive, a gusto to keep going. And when it's just about you, how much money you can make, what are you going to be able to do with the money, what type of houses or cars or trips you're going to be able to make with it, it's going to be extremely hard. And I'm being totally honest with you, it's going to be extremely hard for you to keep up the motivation. I've had those types of businesses. I've had those. And even more so, it's going to be even more difficult once you start to see success. And you start to get the houses, you start to get the cars, you start to get the vacations and those things that were the initial factor for you starting that business. Because now it's like, what else? Like now what? Versus when you start a business or you release a product or a service or a Kindle book or a course based on what you can get from it as well as how it will benefit other people. You start to totally change the way you approach things. Right, so I'm 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 urging you to revisit the way you're doing business right now. So the way that you're launching your products, the way that you're launching your services, the way that you're positioning your products and your services. It can't be just about you. It has to be a bigger mission that's attached to it. Right? Maybe it's for, so I'll give you a couple of examples, right? So I spoke to a few students recently who had um, their children as the reason why. I had individuals who 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 had uh, charities or their churches as the reason why. They wanted to create these financial literacy courses so that they can have success within their community of churchgoers. So they wanted to be able to... They were having success financially 
when it came to managing their money and managing their assets and growing their money and they had a formula that worked and they wanted to share this formula with other members of their church and that was the catalyst for them starting their business that was the catalyst for them releasing this course right so it became so much more than just about them and because they started to to, to really think about how would my fellow churchgoers benefit from this thing how would they get to a point where they're starting to see results fast? Because they put that type of thought into it, they were able to have success with their students. And in turn, that means that they're having success as the course creator and as the person that's selling that product or that, that course. So I hope that kind of makes sense, right? When I put together the Kindle Cash Flow course that you see uh, back here, it's up here. This is the original. That's the physical version of it. Initially... It was, I was really reluctant to share the processes because I was so happy that um, I was able to do something that didn't allow me or that didn't require me to give someone else my time, right? I, I was able to, to reclaim my freedom. So I was really satisfied with being behind the scenes, behind the computer, behind the computer desk, right? And, and publishing books on my own and making a significant amount of money doing it. And what took things to the next level was through the urging of a couple of buddies of mine, a couple of business associates, they said, Ty, if this thing really works, you should be sharing this with other people that kind of need this, this system, this formula that you had. So I went from being able to make about $10,000, $15,000 a month, right, to then understanding the process so much more because now I'm sharing it, I'm teaching it with other individuals to the point where my Kindle business kind of catapulted up to twenty thousand thirty thousand forty thousand fifty thousand dollars a month because now it's not because of my own benefit that I'm doing this I'm learning the ins and outs I'm staying on top of what's 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 what are the trends what's new I'm, I'm staying on top of different ways of um, making the best of the processes I'm putting together systems that allow people to get amazing results quickly so do you see, I hope that makes sense, right? So it's not about me. Now it's about, okay, I've got this formula and I'm saying that it works. Well, how can I go in and really fine tune it so that the person who has no experience can get great results from it? So that the person that may be publishing books right now, whether they're a writer or an entrepreneur or just a stay-at-home dad or a senior citizen who needs to supplement their income can come in and understand it in the most simplest form and get great results for it. Right, so that took me going in and reevaluating the way I was doing things as far as on the business level. It took me reevaluating the way I was doing things as far as the systems that I had and simplifying it and making it much more effective so that my audience, my marketplace could get much better results. All right? So when you start to look at business in that stand from that standpoint, when you start to release every single product and every single service that you put out there, not only because it's going to benefit you from a monetary standpoint, or there's a lot of people who just like the, the, the visual aspect of it, right? Meaning the fame that comes along with it, being able to be a mini celebrity. When you start to look at things from outside of a standpoint of how much money can I make or how much visibility can I get, how much fame can I get out of it versus how will this benefit my audience, it becomes a totally different game. It becomes a totally different game on so many uh, fronts to the point where it pushes you forward on the days where you don't feel like moving forward to the point where people start to see the value in it. And what happens when people see the value in anything? They start to tell other people. So now you get this multiplicative effect, right? Where people are telling other people because you've got this great product, you've got this amazing service. So I hope this kind of touch bases with you let me know in the comments box if this has helped you out and let me know if it's going to change the way that you approach starting a business releasing a product releasing a new service or introducing a service or publishing your books all right so let me know in the comments box let me know if you like these types of videos videos where i talk about like things that have really given me these quantum leaps i think oftentimes as business owners and as people that are successful we, we kind of take for granted the things that gave us the start and not only take for granted but we kind of forget sometimes right so i want to bring all of the things that have worked really well for me to the forefront so that you can benefit from them as well all right so i'm um,
following my own lead here. So if there are things that work for me, I'm going to make sure that I share them with you. But I need to know if you guys want to see more videos like this. Let me know in the comments box. And if this benefited you, please do me a favor and subscribe to the YouTube channel over at kindlecashflow.com forward slash YouTube. kindlecashflow.com forward slash YouTube. And if you think that this can help someone else who may be in business or who's considering starting a business, share this video with them. All right, or well, share the audio if you're listening in on the podcast. So the podcast you can visit by going to tycohen.com forward slash podcast. Make sure you subscribe, make sure you like, and make sure you hit the ring bell notification um, icon so that you can get notified every time I release a new video. I'll see you soon. Stay well.